Welcome back to the 30 and 30. Today I want to give you a little tutorial on some fencing. As you can see, I've got goats right here beside the house doing my weed eating for me. I've got a little uh, water pail over there that is under the faucet for the goats. But the tutorial is on this fencing. This is Premier One netting. This, this right here is strands of poly wire and just strands of poly. Your horizontal stripes or strips are, if you look closely, plastic, but they have little fibers of metal going through them. Each one of these, they're all electrified. And the ups and downs on there are simply just the, the poly, the poly braid. And this fencing is wonderful for goats. It's wonderful for sheep. It's fine for cattle. It serves its purpose. It's good for chickens. <clears throat> and the idea is that instead of having a traditional fence, you can move this around as need be. If you look here closely at the bottom, you can get it in two different styles. You can get it with a single poke in, which is just this piece right here, or you can get the double. And uh, what helps is if you get the double, you can push on it and it makes it sturdier. Now, that is the chicken fence. And look at this next strand I got going on right here. Let's get over to it. These are doubled up. If you look at this other strand, it's spaced a little bit different. It's actually fell over, so it might be grounding out. <clears throat> but if you look at it, the spacing in between is a little bit bigger. This is actually poly netting that is for cattle. It's cattle net. <clears throat> Same purpose, same idea. Still got the, the braids, as you can see right there, with the metal running through it. But it's got larger spacing, so a goat won't stick their head through it. If your goats have something to eat, they're not going to stick their head through it. You know, that's not a, 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 a complete truth. It's not always going to be the case. But by and large, if they've got something to eat on the inside, they're not going to stick their heads out here. Now look. You can see how that grass is going down. If I leave them there another day, they're gonna start sticking their heads through. They're gonna get tangled up as to where with this chicken netting over here, they're not gonna do that so much. There's also another kind. And if you look right here, it only comes up about yay far, which is, I don't know, maybe two foot, something like that, as opposed to these cattle and, and chicken nettings going up four foot. They, uh, but the other is for hogs. Same idea, you know, it's specialized for the species and they can't get through it, but there's not any extra going up to the top. Now, <clears throat> here's your benefits of the chicken wire. The chicken uh, premier netting is you can use it for goats, you can use it for hogs, you can use it for cattle. But if you look at it, it's a little bit more slinky. Now, if you keep it tight like it is over here, it's gonna stay up, but if you put, space it close together, it's gonna get lower like that. Um, as far as I know, there's the same distance between all the rods right here on them. And the thing that I like about all of it is you can use it with several different types of chargers. On this one right here, I'm gonna slink through, am I gonna get zapped? On this one, we've got it set up, just a T-post in the ground, and look, that's my ground right there, hooked up to the T-post. And we've just got it on a solar charger, and it's more than enough to, to power all this. Or you can go with the conventional, you know, 10 mile charger that you hook up to electric. Why would I want this over woven wire or barbed wire? <coughs> Well, I can move it. We've moved the goats around the house and I'm not gonna weed eat for another two weeks because they've eaten all the, the growth down. So there you go. There's a 30 and 30, a quick explanation on some of your Premier One netting. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give us a like, leave us a comment. Tell me what kind of Premier One netting you like the best. God bless y'all, have a good night.